Um, so I'm Erin Patton. My name is Ali Paracek. My name is Tia Schultz. Um, I'm Chloe Burns. My name is Anna Marie. I'm the head Dexter volleyball coach. I'm a middle blocker. Or right side. I'm a setter. I coached back in 2010 and 2011. I was on varsity for three years and a captain. I am a junior on varsity. This is my second year on varsity. And I've been on varsity for one year. I've been on varsity for one year. Like, you heard, probably heard a lot about this program coming yeah. into it. Was that, like, what were you thinking you had to, like, prepare for? Um, honestly, that was why I came back. Um, because there have been coaching changes on and off for the last 10, 12 years since I've been um, not coaching, taking that break. And I always thought, you know, the next coach will do great. And... Um, I was busy raising my own kids and trying to keep toddlers alive and run my own business and all these things. So I always felt like the next coach would do great. And this was the first time when it felt like Dexter Volleyball had got to the point where it was in trouble. And so that was, that was the impetus for me to feel like it was time to come back. Could you describe your 2022 season makes a line last year um that season low-key was just a blur i think i blacked out during it don't really remember it uh it was definitely different than this season my 2022 volleyball season was dramatic it was a lot to take in and there were some ups but a lot of downs that we had to grow through and learn from which we definitely did but it was Overall, I would use the word dramatic and intense. I think that the 2022 season was a very eventful, emotional roller coaster. And if it wasn't for that season, then I might have actually enjoyed volleyball that year. Um, petty, gossipy, unorganized, no team culture. No championship, no records. Uh, horrible. <laughs> Basically, the only winning team was JV. It felt a little bit more like relaxed and I don't know, less uh, driven, I guess. I think Mackenzie is a great coach, but just the spot that Dexter Volleyball needed to fill, especially going off of the season prior, was a strong minded like able to put us in our place type of coach and Mackenzie didn't fulfill that. I love her as a person. I think she is an amazing volleyball player. I'm sure that if she was at a different school in a different situation, everything would be amazing. But then in that moment, we needed just a different player, a different coach and different mindset to lead the gym. And I think Penn did a great job. She was exactly what we needed this season to turn everything around. Yeah, that season definitely sucked for kid. Well, I'm sorry, I can't say that. Um, that season definitely sucked. If there was definitely like potential, but it wasn't def um, incorporated or utilized is a good part. From the very first like open ship that we had, I got pulled to the side by Mackenzie and got told like that she wants me to be a varsity player. And just I got to decide if I want to be on varsity or JV until one day, I got pulled to the side again and got told I was actually going to be on JV as a right side, not my position, with a setter who hates me and never sets me. <laughs> okay. The pettiness was between me and Anna Marie. Uh, it's her fault. <laughs> so, you could say I was a little disappointed, a little upset, a little... Betrayed. I felt betrayed. Oh. Anyways. As a team, you don't have to be best friends, but you have to act like it. You have to act like you love each other, even if you don't. And we kind of missed that in the 2022 season. And it showed. Introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Paula Palmer Burns, and I was the Dexter High School varsity volleyball coach in 2021. 
Watching the 2022 season was hard. I knew it was going to be a challenge at a lot of levels, personally and emotionally. But what was hard was watching, which was hardest, was watching the deterioration of values and commitment and expectations. That was hard. You also showed up for your daughters who played, not only on the JV team, but also on the varsity team. Was, was that like the light in all of the darkness that year? I don't know if there was light in the darkness that year. But being there for your kids is what you do. No matter who's around, you show up for your kids. And I always thought you showed up for the team and for the program. So that's what I did. The 2023 season, we were really good this year. So the season started. It feels good to win. I was admittedly very pleased. I definitely think that this season, like coaching wise, it definitely couldn't have really been better. This year is different because I was playing for this new team, this new community, and playing for Dexter and then being able to watch out and see all these people's faces, like knowing that they're gonna grow up into this culture, which is really nice to see. Um, very, it makes me feel very grateful that she came back because without her, I just really feel like we would have lost a lot more. So yeah, it felt more like structured and like driven and we definitely, I felt like we were more serious and I liked the, like the effort that we all put in. But before you can even get there, I do think you have to have the culture built and the, the foundation started. And I think that that's what this team did so that whether we come across super talent athletes down the road or we just build that pipeline, um, I think that we'll get back there for sure. I think all of those games and combined really showed the new Dexter volleyball team that we were and what we're building. Watching the program this past season, 2023, it was also the return to the foundation of expectations with Coach Ben. She sat on my bench through almost every game during my varsity season and was always at every tryout. So watching her come back to a program that I knew she believed in and that she would have expectations for. I was grateful for that. It was nice to see that happen. And I can only, can't wait to watch it build because that's what she will do. She will build. I, Coach Penn is, I was very happy to be playing under her. It was just good because there was a familiar face on the varsity team, which for me as a sophomore was terrifying. Uh, looking back on the season, I feel like the most prominent like games were definitely when we played Heartland. I loved like it was a really long tournament, and then like when we went, it was, Heartland was our final game, and I loved the energy and like the work that we put in. And we got we were really close to beating Heartland, and looking how Heartland did in like the past season. I was really proud of that and I know that game felt amazing. And then Bedford, going up to the game, we had like whole losses that we probably shouldn't have lost, but playing that Bedford game was definitely a really good game too. I think this volleyball season was definitely a lot better and there was for sure a culture shift in the gym that you could feel it the second you walked in. There was a change in dynamic, there was a change in goals and leadership and everyone just definitely played their part in becoming a better person and showed up for the season. So there was definitely a culture shift.
do you think that this season was a return to success? Absolutely. I think that this season was Dexter Volleyball's return to success. Yes. Yes. Yes, most definitely. It brought back the legacy of this program. The 2023 fall season was the return to success. So proud of all of the players, of all of the legacies that they've left behind and the foundations that they've set, all that they've done for everyone that will come after them. hear so much that's not going to be in the video yeah Whoever gets i know, it next is I know. no we're we're wiping well, this in part after yeah. no one's here we gotta say that we're not well no there's also like a lot of other stuff like